Azure is such a big platform that it can be overwhelming to know where to begin in the process of building your Azure IT practice. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create packaged Azure offers. This will be the first in a series of multiple videos on how to create Azure packages. Most MSPs know that they have to transform their business from traditional managed services and break fix work to being a cloud solutions provider and leveraging Azure. Unfortunately, because Azure is so big and complex, it's hard to know where to even begin and what this packaged offering should look like. My name is Vadim Vladimirsky. I am the CEO of Nerdio. And if you are an MSP looking to build or grow your Azure practice, then this is the channel for you. To succeed with cloud services, you need to focus on making things simple for your customers. This means simple to buy, simple to use, and simple to pay for. Out of the box, there is nothing simple about Azure. It's hard to know where the best place to buy it is, it's difficult to deploy and manage, and it's certainly hard to pay for it since it's based on a consumption model which can vary the costs on a month-to-month -month basis. Fortunately, as an MSP, this is where your opportunity lies. You can come in and make things simpler for your customers create a lot of value and capture it in the process. First, you have to put in the work upfront to create an easy to understand Azure-based package that solves a business challenge for your customer. Don't sell Azure as a technology. Sell it as a solution to a business problem that they may have. This may be a backup to an already existing IT system. This could be virtual desktops for remote employees or a new hosted ERP server instead of replacing the one that's currently sitting in the closet. Next, make it easy to buy. The pricing of your offer should be as simple as possible for the customer to understand and easy to budget for. The customer doesn't want to deal with the unpredictability of consumption-based pricing and wants to know what the solution will cost on a month-to-month -month basis. For example, if you're selling a virtual desktop solution for remote employees, be sure to select an easy to understand value metric or the unit that you charge for, such as per user per month. Don't choose something super obscure like 95th percentile random read IO or something else like that. You wanna be sure that the customer can understand and easily estimate what their costs are gonna be going forward. Finally, create discrete packages for a few variations of your solution. You should have a good, better, best, or a silver, gold, platinum type of a selection with clearly laid out differences between each package. Now, this is not trivial. You're really going to have to dig into your existing customer's data to understand how they're currently leveraging your services to determine what should be included and should not be included in each of the packages. The key thing is to keep things simple, right? Having two, three, or four, or maybe even five packages is okay, but if you get into too many packages with too many options that are difficult to distinguish from each other, you're actually making things more difficult and more challenging for the customer to choose from. So really keep it simple. Creating packages is the best way to drive customer adoption of Azure and simplify something that's really very complex which is really what being an MSP is all about. In future videos, we'll explore the specifics of how to go about this and look at some of the popular tactics on creating Azure packages. In the meantime, if you want to learn more, click on the link below to read our white paper on creating Azure packages and offers.